At classes, um, I'm often asked how to keep leafy green vegetables fresh. A lot of people complain that they buy them and then they go bad in the fridge. And I completely can commiserate with that, but um, the easiest way to do it is to do bag and freeze. Now, this is pretty simple. I've got some kale here. Um, you literally just pull the leaves out. I'm just going to do a little bit of this. I already have some done just so that you can see. You need to blanch the greens first. So we're going to do, we're going to uh, just, and blanching isn't boiling. Blanching is just introducing them to hot water and that's kind of it, to wilt them. Okay, so now I, with greens, I like to do mine in a, in, um, in a flat pan. Um, don't ask me why, but I just do. I'm going to put this on high. It's got a little bit, it's got, I'll just show you. It's got a tiny, tiny bit of water in there. These have already been washed. So I'm just going to put these in with a little bit of salt and bring them to the boil. Put it on high. And when it starts to steam, it's, it, it's ready. It'll take just a couple of minutes. If you're taking them out of um, a salad spinner, let's say, you should just not spin them too much and just leave the, the, the water on the leaves and just dump the leaves into the pan. Now, while I'm waiting for that to cook, I'm also going to do some beans. So these are great. These are just little green beans um, that are really great at this time of year. It's actually uh, the fall right now that we're doing this. So I've got some water that's already cooking, already boiling. A pinch of salt. You can see how they're changing color now. They go, they're going from like green to really bright green. And that's as, as the, the water hits it. One of the reasons to do this is that um, when you try and freeze raw, completely raw beans, the um, ice breaks the cells down. The cooking starts the process, which makes them easier to handle. Let's just check up on our kale. Just need it to do a little bit more. Okay, right, I'm going to get the kale out now. And I'm going to put it into a bath. This is ice water. I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the beans. It's called shocking it. And what this is going to do, this is going to stop the cooking dead. So I'm going to just now it's, it's completely cold. I'm going to squeeze out all the moisture because the moisture is what's going to break it up when it's freezing. Okay, and just give it an extra roll. I mean, not so bad for a little bit like this, but when you're doing a lot of it, you want it coming out. And then I'm just going to roughly chop it. So there's, they're now stopped cooking. Don't need. Just want to get a little bit of the excess water off them. This water that was freezing had a huge lump of ice in it. Now it's kind of tepid. Okay, let's get it out of the way. Okay, and I'm going to put it with these other ones which we blanched a little bit earlier on. Now this gorgeous green colour they've got, they're not going to lose it. They're not going to go brown. This is how it's going to stay. Now the most important thing when you're preparing things for the freezer, and this may sound like, duh, obvious, you've got to mark it. Because the thing is that on some kind of vague things like greens, when they've been in the freezer for like a month or so, you may not remember what they are. And collard greens and kale and chard all look the same. So the first thing you've got to do is put what it is. So that's kale. Then you've got to put how much, and that's about two cups. Sometimes if I do a whole bunch, I'll just put one bunch, and that'll give me kind of a, an idea. And then you put the date. Now, not you don't have to do it to the day, but what I do is I'm going to put today's date. I'm going to put um, December 16, which is when we're shooting this. And now I'm going to put this in. Oops. Now, I'm going to get as much air out as I can because it's the air also that creates freezer burn and then I'm going to push it to make it as flat as I can. 
There's a couple of reasons for doing this. Um, if you live in the city, you probably don't have a big fridge. You probably have a, a, a small freezer. And this will allow you... Actually, I'm going to open it again. Just get a bit more air out. There we go. And you've got that. It's almost like vacuum packed. And that's going to, to um, freeze completely flat. And it also means that if you want to, you can literally pull it out and cut half of it off if you're making a quick pasta and you just want some greens in there. Or, um, you know, you can just put the whole thing in. And it's the same thing with the beans. I'm going to put green beans. Um, that's again two cups, about just 16. And it's really important with things like beans, which are fleshier than the uh, leafy greens, is to get all the air out. And these will keep for three to four months. And it's actually, it's kind of a good idea that if you know that, if you go to the market and you see some beautiful, beautiful beans or some beautiful greens and you want to make sure, and you want to buy them, but you're not sure when you're going to eat them, it's a good idea to just freeze them straight away, to do this prep, and then you'll have them from another time and you're not going to be wasting your money. So this is now pretty much vacuum. Tight. So we've got two great, great veggies for the freezer. For more videos, visit our website, cookforyourlife.org, or subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest.